me. Oh, he's one shot. No! I said, hold he's up. One shot. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Out of pocket for that shit. Mom! Jobby just dropped a banger. What's good YouTube man and welcome back and as you can see from the title and the thumbnail and the first clip of today's video uh, We're going to be doing stereotypes in Rainbow Six Siege and uh, with that being said You know what I'm saying? We're going to get straight into it Alright, first up on today's list we have the guy that always managed to TK his teammate or shoot his teammate trying to shoot out the cam It's like bro, it's 2022, I understand accidents happen, but how can you still be shooting your teammate when you're trying to shoot the cam? It's like come on bro, be careful Man, <laughs> we all know that guy. If you if you watching this video and you're that guy, come on, bro, do better. But with that being said, on to the next one. We have the guy that always manages to flash his teammates, ying his teammates, just always do something that that is supposed to be done to the enemy team, but instead of that, he does it to his teammates. Like like, what are you doing? And you know what's crazy about that is that I've actually lost rounds because my teammates flashed me or just did something that really harmed me more than the enemy team. And you know what I'm saying? For that to happen, it's sad. It, it, it's, it's, it's honestly just sad. So for the next stereotype we do have here is the guy that sucks at throwing C4s, impacts. He just he just really bad at just throwing anything. It never lands where it's supposed to. And yeah, just watch. C for him. Oh. Ah. No. If I was, if my C four went through, bro. And for the guy that can't throw C fours or just, just, just really sucks at throwing throwables, bro. I, weirdly enough, I have a C4 tutorial on my channel, so if you need to watch that, you, you know what I'm saying, go check that out. Yeah, now. It's, it's for the greater good, I promise. Next up, we have the guy that it doesn't matter what round it is. It could be 4-4, overtime, $3,000 on the line. He will literally spawn peak or run out every single round. I literally can't make it up. But he doesn't care if he dies. He doesn't care if he gets kills. He's just honestly a danger to the nations, a menace to societies. He's just, he's just a really bad guy. And for the next stereotype, we have the guy that swears everything is a headshot. And literally every single gunfight he gets in and he dies, he's blaming it on the game being trash and that the headshots don't work. And we all know, we all know, he did not hit no headshot. He <laughs> he just he just looking for something to blame it on. How is that not a headshot? What? Wow. Oh yeah, that wasn't honestly the best clip to use, but that's the only clip I had. But actually, I'm actually kind of confused though, cause real talk, that was a headshot. I don't know if I if I if I can't see right, but from my eyes, that was a headshot. Okay, next up, we have the guy that reinforces rotate. Now, this guy is normally the type of guy who is low, has low experience on the game. He doesn't really know what he's doing. And all the experienced players is like, who reinforced the rotate? Who reinforced the rotate? And it's just like, man, God, come on, bro. I know you don't know, but that, that, that shouldn't feel right, man. If you don't know, don't reinforce nothing at all, all right? <laughs> And 
and that has been Rainbow Six Siege Stereotypes. So if y'all did enjoy this video, make sure boys like up the video if you haven't already. And comment down below what stereotypes I missed. And if y'all do want to see a part two to this, let me know also. With that being said, I hope y'all boys did enjoy. And as usual, have a good day. And it's Jobby, and I'm out, man.